The gospel of today is from the last part of chapter 16 of the gospel of John, verses 29 to 33. And in it, there are two parts. The disciples now have been enlightened. And the disciples are happy when Jesus speaks with them about their receiving whatever they pray for with confidence in the Father. And so they tell Jesus, now we understand. Now you have revealed yourself. Now you have revealed the Father because they are selfish. Because they are self-centered. They are very happy to hear that the Father will give them whatever they ask for. And so possibly their minds are already about what they will ask for. Because they have got confidence in Jesus and confidence in the Father. And very likely it is also that they were asking for something for themselves. The second part, Jesus stops them in this dream which they have and talks to them about the time which has come. And because we are close to the passion which begins in chapter 18 of the Gospel of John, Jesus speaks about his departure, but not only about his departure, but by the re reaction of the disciples. He says to them that his time has come and that he will have to go as has been ordained by the Father. His hour, the hour ordained by the Father, will come in a short while. And when that hour comes, the disciples who have stood by him so faithfully till this moment, because their needs were being met, will all be scattered, each disciple running away, until Jesus will be alone. And even though Jesus knows that the disciples will not stand by him, he continues to be faithful to them, he continues to love them, he continues to reach out to them because his love is not a barter exchange. His love is an unconditional love based not on the response of the person whom he loves, but based on his own heart, which is filled with love. There are times when our love is barter exchange. There are times when we give only in the hope that we will receive. So whether it is in our families, whether it is in our neighborhoods, whether it is in our places of work, there is constantly barter exchange. And while it is okay to have barter exchange when you go to the grocery store or when you go to buy something from a supermarket, what is not okay is to have this barter exchange when it comes to familial relationships and when it comes to relationships of friends. Like Jesus, if we stop expecting that the other person will respond like Jesus, if we expect that the other person will run away from us when we need help, like Jesus, if we know that people will betray us when they have to stand up for us, it is only then that we can love unconditionally. However, if our love is with expectation, if our love is with what we can get in return, then it is impossible for us to love unconditionally. Even though Jesus knows and he predicts and says to his disciples that when it has to come to the push coming to shove, they will all run away. Despite that, he will not abandon them. He will continue to love them. He will continue to be their Lord. How often have you loved without any expectation whatever? How often have you performed even one action without expecting a thanks? How often have you performed a loving action and expected ingratitude? Will you dare to perform such an action today?